All praise, honor, and glory is to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Hawakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at GMS. Salutations unto the elect Akim. So I'm going to entitle this video The Word of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai cannot and will not be stopped. Okay, I probably just I probably change it down to something different, but still stay on the same um, basis of that. But the reason why I entitle it that is because, according to the book of Second Peter, the third chapter, it says that we're gonna have scoffers in these last these last days, these last times. Okay, and the point of a scoffer, okay, is to make you um, scoff, scoffers are here to to make you feel like this truth ain't real, man. All right, just like what they say about, uh, you know, what they've said about the apostles and elders, man. How they, because they were hastening uh, until the day in the late '90s, you know, before that. But specifically, my point, they were uh, hastening into the day in the uh, the late '90s, and they were so adamant about getting that truth out, and they said that the um, the coming would be more likely in 2000. Okay. Now look at us. We're in 2018. Okay, but th does that mean that the word of the Most High is of none effect? Does that mean that the prophecies ain't coming to pass? Does that mean that the uh, the apostles and elders were going off? No, it's hastening on to the day, man. Okay, because yeah, they say they, they say it every year, man. You know, when we we feel the same way, we pray. Hey, we're in 2018, as I said, and and this, hey. To the men out there, this is the year of prophecy, man. To the true men of Yahabashim Yahushai, we consider this the year of prophecy. Okay, unless unless uh deemed otherwise, man. You know? So that's the point of scoffers and keyboard warriors. Their point is to make you feel like this truth ain't real. They try they make you feel like this Bible is not real. And the and false prophets, what they do, they do the same thing as well, man. They take from the truth. They jump over prophecies. They tell they they're lying to the to the uh to the people. They're leading our people as uh sheep to the slaughter. Okay? They make they make them believe in Christianity and, and Christmas and Thanksgiving and that, that January is the, the new year. You know, so on and so forth. Alright? But I'm gonna get this. In Matthew twenty four and verse eleven, it says, And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. All right, how should they do that? They'll, they'll do that by blinding your eyes with gifts. They'll do that by making making a merchandise of you. They'll do that and say that um. Um, uh, they they say many things. All right. They they say that you can get lineups, and that this is not specifically just IUIC because they do do that as you can see. All right, but there there's different sects of Israel that have false prophets in it. That'll make you believe a lie, okay? And it, and, but that's that's what we are set up here at GMS for, man. Because we are gonna cut through that bullshit, and we are gonna let you know that what the scriptures say. Because you got false prophets, they won't, they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna go into all the scriptures, man. And they ain't gonna break down the scriptures correctly. You no, know, through the spirit of Yahabashim Yahushai, we have the Apostle Tahar, the Apostle Gabar, the Apostle Rhymelab, the Apostle Rachar. All right, and then we have the elders. No, we have all these great men that have been bringing out facts and lining it up with scriptures, okay? And they they made sense of this word through scripture, man. The times that we're in, they made sense of that through scripture. But you, these false prophets, they're not they're, they're just saying anything that comes to their mind, man. You know, you had some some crafty Israelites. You no, know, the crafty Israelites is them false prophets that'll make you believe some. Because they, they'll come with some shit that sounds believable. You know? They'll come with a doctrine that sounds believable. But when you dig into it, when you actually dig into it, it's like, okay, these niggas are, these niggas are phony, man. Okay? So that's, that's why we, the Most High, set up the apostles at GMS. And, and look at all the fruit that's popping up throughout the world, man. All right? This word cannot be stopped. You can't stop the will of Yahabashim Yahushai. You can't stop his word, man. All right? So I'm gonna get into this, uh, Matthew 24, because Matthew 24 is a book of prophecy. Okay, I'm gonna start from a certain point though. 
Um, I want to start from verse 34. It says, Verily I say unto you, This generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. So, no slack. I'm going to go up uh, to 32. It says, Now learn a parable of the fig tree, when his branch is yet tender, and put it forth leaves. You know that summer is nigh. Okay, so just how they, the apostles were hastening to the day, you know, um, you know from the uh, the 70s, when Abba Bivens was pushing the word to through the throughout the 80s, early 90s, late 90s, early 2000s to this very day. All right, there have there have been major prophecies that have been coming to pass because the leaves are the signs of the times, man. And that summer is talking about what? The prophecies. It's, it's talking about the end game prophecy for America, which is the missiles. We know that this is coming because you see wars and rumors of wars. All right. See, you see Trump is, is stirring up the spirits. OK. He, he's uh, going into other. Just, just like Americans always been doing. The president's always been doing, man. They've been going into these different countries, setting up banks. OK. Uh, uh, placing their democracy there. Uh, tr trying to bully these other countries and Guess what These countries are fighting back man They have nuclear capability now Okay So we know that summer is nigh We know that this thing is about to pop any second So I'm reading on It says so likewise ye when ye shall see All these things know that it is near Even at the doors Barely I say unto you This generation shall not pass Till all these things be fulfilled so these prophecies, they're going to come to pass. Just how, just how they've been coming to pass. You can't stop the prophecies. This has been spoken by, um, these different prophecies have been spoken by, uh, like the prophet Isaiah, Jonah, okay, uh, Ezekiel, Daniel, Obadiah. Obadiah is a major prophecy, and that's the, pro that's the prophecy that we we're looking forward to, man, because we're going to be able to, Lord willing, put a, get our hands on these Edomites in the, in this due time, man. You know? But there are many prophecies that have came to pass and many that still have to come to pass. But it says, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. All right? So the, the Lord is not a man that he's going to lie. He's going to fulfill his word. It don't matter what these false prophets and keyboard warriors and scoffers say. All right? We tell we we hear GMS, we come straight out the scriptures, man. We come straight in truth. We telling you the will of Yahabashim Yahweh Shai, and it's gonna to come to pass, man. Not because of our word, but because of the most high spirit. You see the stuff going on throughout the world, man. You see earthquakes going on and Cali he's the most high is jacking California up with uh with the mudslides, man. And right before that it was the wildfires. Alright? And that's not the only major thing you have um, in Iran. Is this uh, um, there's people, there's children and uh, kids that are being bombed over there, man. And all throughout the world, you have these different things going on, and yet these people don't think that the scriptures are real. Look around the world, man. You can't stop the word of the Most High because you feel a certain way about the about the scriptures, okay? But I'm going to read on. This says, heaven and earth shall pass away. All right? And that heaven and earth is talking about what? It's not talking about the entire globe. Okay? It's talking about a specific a specific part of the world. Okay? This world that we're living in, America. This, um, this country that we're living in, America. All the things that it offers, the wickedness. All right? The democracies. The, the unjust laws. The taxes. All right? Just, the list goes on and on. All that's going to be going to be destroyed, according to Second Peter's the third chapter, man. So it says, "Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away." All right, and it's evident because even when the kingdom comes, the most the most high word ain't gonna pass away. It's gonna be written in our inner parts, man. All right. So America's these Amer you Americans are finished, man. You scoffers, you're finished. You false prophets, you you uh um. You phony teachers, y'all finished, man. Because even that bullshit that y'all teach is going to be done away with, man. So now I want to get into this real quick. Romans, the third chapter, and 
uh, verse 3. It says, for what if some did not believe? Because you got a lot of people that don't believe the scriptures. And uh, you have a lot of our people, Israelites, that don't believe the scriptures. All right? Why? Because things don't happen on their time. You know what I'm saying? The things don't happen how they thought it would happen. Now, now you don't believe the word. But guess what? It says, shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? The Most High, Yahweh forbid. Yea, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar. All right? So it don't matter what man say. It don't matter what we say. It don't matter what the apostles say. It don't matter what you false prophets say. The word of the Most High is going to be true, and every man is a liar, man. All right? But I'm, I'm specifically focusing on you you um, you um false prophets, man. Y'all y'all works ain't going to prosper, man. When it comes to your Habashim, Yahweh Shai, he's going to chop all that shit down. And he's doing it now. All right? But it's going to get to the point where he's going to start taking wiping some of you niggas off the earth, man. Before them times come. Or he might just preserve you for them times. Okay? It says, as it is written, that thou mayest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. All right? So you, the, the words that these, these niggas are speaking, the things that they say, these things are going to come to naught, man. And you're going to be judged every idle word that man shall speak. He shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. All right? So you can't stop the word of the Most High. Esau can't stop the word of the Most High with the net neutrality. All right? With the um coming down on Jake. You can't stop the word. You're just giving more power to the word, man. All right? So um, I'm, I'm going to leave it there. You know, Lord willing, this was edifying. And um, we got Lord willing, just Lord willing, it was edifying, man. You know? So uh, with that being said, I say, call Allah, me, Habashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Hawah Chakwadash, the winners unto the apostles and elders, that great millstone, and citations unto the elect Akim, that are sincerely fighting and uh, with all long suffering and sound doctrine. With that being said, I say Shalom.